Hey, what's up? It's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I want to say thanks for watching this short video, and after you're done, please comment and share. Anyway, we're going to talk about high speed buffers, variable speed buffers, uh, and for auto body and paint, and car detailing, car refinishing. All right, uh, it could also be on boats or whatever else you're working on. We're going to talk about some buffers. Uh, we have a few different brands back here, and we're going to talk about variable speed uh, buffers versus the non-variable speed buffers. All right, so here are our buffers. We have four of them. Okay, uh, starting uh, with the lowest, we have the cheapest one here, which is a Black & Decker. Not a bad brand, you know. Black & Decker, they got some pretty good tools, affordable tools out there. And uh, this is one of them. All right, it's like a, this is a, a polisher or a grinder. It can be used as a grinder. Uh, right here, we have a disc on it. I've been using it as a grinder. But you could also use it as a high-speed buffer, okay? Uh, right here, we have a variable speed snap-on. Now, now, with this variable speed, it's a trigger variable speed. We're going to go over this demonstration in a little while to show you more about it. This is also a variable speed uh, with a trigger, okay? And it's a different type. This variable speed trigger is not as sensitive as the snap-on here, which we're going to show you in a little while, all right? And that's, that's why this is more expensive than this type, okay? Then we have our, our another Black & Decker here, a uh, variable speed. It's the Buffmaster brand. And our variable speed button is right over here, our little knob, okay? Another good buffer, heavy duty. And my favorite, the Hitachi variable speed buffer, all right? Same exact thing as the Buffmaster. Uh, we have the dial knob right here for adjusting your speed, okay? It's a little smaller in length uh, than, say, our Buffmaster here. So with this Black & Decker brand we have here, I said it was a variable speed, but not as sensitive as our snap-on. Let's take a look. When I squeeze the trigger slowly, that's like a low setting. There's no in-between, all right? So as I pull the trigger slowly, it's not going to rev up slowly. There's no in between. When I get to a certain point, it'll just turn to high. All right, so that's the Black & Decker. It's good for grinding and all around buffing if you're on a budget. Okay, now we got our snap-on. Keep an eye on my trigger here and listen to the noise, okay? As I squeeze it, It's variable speed and it's very sensitive, which makes it very cool to use because if you want to go slow, you just pull the triggers a little bit. You want to go a little higher, all right? But what I don't like about it is you can't lock it in at a slow speed. You have to constantly have your trigger on it to keep it at this slow, slow speed, you know what I mean? You could lock it in at a high speed, but not in between. With this Black & Decker, you could actually lock it in at a low speed. See it? You could lock it in right here, and you could move up. You could move up little by little. Okay, you got like a thousand RPM, all the way up to I think 2600 which is a good buffer. This is a very, very good buffer. Same thing with the Hitachi. You could actually lock it in at a low speed. You could lock it in at a low speed and then bring it up. So if you're gonna get into automotive buffing and detailing, I recommend getting a variable speed with a dial here so you could lock it in at low speeds because you're not going to be tired holding your finger on uh, like with this snap on here if you want to go at a low RPM you got to keep holding it down at one and then your finger gets tired after a while you want to be able to just set it forget it and buff all right so snap on a very very good brand but uh, I'm not too crazy about it because of this type of 
uh, variable speed setting on the trigger pull versus the knob style here, the dial. Okay, so if you're going to get one, I would get one of these two. Uh, probably cost you about 150 to 250, depending on what you get. I think I paid about 159 for this one. It's my favorite. Uh, it's smaller, a little lighter uh, than our Black and Decker here, um, and it, it does the trick. It's very, very, very good. So this is like a lock. You know, you hold that. This way, you could turn your adapter off really quick. Just going to talk to you about adapters really quick. Uh, most times they're universal, all right? These are usually the same size on a lot of buffers. I do recommend going to, you know, buffandshine.com or your local auto body store. They probably have this type of adapter, okay? You can get the Buff and Shine pads with this adapter. Very easy to go on and off. As you see, it has the guide here that goes in the hall. Make sure you're centered so you don't have a, a wobbly off-balance type of buffer. If you've been around buffing for a while and never used this, you kind of know, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, so they go right in like this. You just slap them on. You could change from your, your foam pads. You could put on, uh, you know, whatever pad you want. Boom, boom, switch one, two, three. It's very, very easy, and I do recommend getting it, okay? Uh, like I said, they could go on any buffer. You put them on, and they work. This is another type of pad where it's not a velcro pad okay you just use this plate as a backing on your buffer okay you just put it in back of any buffer you want and then you just tighten it with this little bolt here that goes through and onto your your little hub here okay that's basically all you do it just tightens up on it you put this on it you tighten it and to take it off you just have to take the whole thing apart and do it with the velcro you just put this on, solid, leave it on all the time, and you just change between pads. It's very easy to use, and I do recommend it. If you want to learn more about automotive customization, detailing, and painting, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. I hope to see you there. There's also a free 85-page manual about auto body and paint that you may enjoy. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share it, and I'll see you on the site. Bye-bye.